a Yahoo sports reporter and writer and journalist, has exposed all Caitlin Clark fans for their hate and their racist comments toward Angel Reese when she was pursuing her double-double streak. Now, you know what a lot of people have to say about Angel Reese's double-double streak, especially all these Caitlin Clark fans. But before we get off into today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. Today, guys, man, we got a serious show that we want to talk about. Um, That's why I love all my supporters and all my subscribers. Um, Shout out to one of my subscribers, Tyrone Hartley or Hatley. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, He sent me this article via um, Yahoo Sports. Um, He DM'd it to me via Instagram, and he asked me what did I think about, you know, the article and what I you know, touch bases on the article and whatever my fans want, not whatever my supporters want, you know, I'll try to cover to my best ability. Now it seems that, you know, this rookie of the year debate is gaining traction is heating up. You know what, you know, certain uh, media members have to say about the situation. Uh, We've heard what some of the WNBA veterans had to say, Uh, We heard what some of the media personnel have to say about the rookie of the year race. Now, you know, this is a hot topic and this is not going to stop. Even in the midst of the Olympics, even in the midst of the break that the WNBA is on right now. And, you know, these teams are gearing up back at their practice facility and no other than Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are still dominating headlines, even through the Olympics. And, This has been a hot commodity, and it's not going to go away no time soon. It's not going to end until the season is over and whoever hoists that rookie of the year trophy for the WNBA, that's when it's probably going to cease, but it's going to be still some things that people got to say. If Angel Reese walks away with the award, then these Caitlin Clark fans are going to come out of the woodworks and they're going to go crazy and they're going to go believe it. But in this particular case, there's a writer on Yahoo Sports. Um, I'm going to have to get give credit to Darren Snyder. Um, he produced an article stating Angel Reese has a knack for double doubles and is upsetting hordes of racists in her run for WNBA Rookie of the Year. Now, what I've been saying all along when we're talking about Caitlin Clark fans, this is not an indictment on Caitlin Clark. This is an indictment on her fans. And I've told people on many live shows that, you know, Caitlin Clark fans make you dislike Caitlin Clark. It has nothing to do with Caitlin Clark as the basketball player. It's her fan base. Now, there's an article produced by Darren Snyder, and this is the headlines of it. Angel Reese has a knack for double doubles and is upsetting hordes of racists in her run for W. NBA Rookie of the Year. Now, we're going to continue to read the article because a lot of people will come in the comments sections saying, oh, you're starting rumors and stuff like this. This is from a verified source on um, Yahoo Sports, Darren Snyder. So let's go ahead and continue on what the article said, and I'm going to read it from the article verbatim. Now, this says, opinion. I won't be mad if Reese hoists the trophy because she's worthy contender. I'm not proud of this part, but watching her haters go berserk has some appeal too. Editor's note, the following article is an open-ended and views expressed are the author's own. Nearly half of the WNBA season remains with another two months left on the schedule. That's plenty of time for players to get hot or cold. Ample amount of time to post historic numbers or hit a wall. But why wait until the end when you can argue about rookie of the year right now? Who you got? 
Two clear front runners have emerged, and it's no surprise that it's Indiana Fever's guard Caitlin Clark and her eyes on favorite ahead of Chicago Skies forward Angel Reese. Clark was virtually anointed MVP entering the league, so winning rookie of the year was supposed to be a given. Over reverberated fans, media have acted like breathing too hard on Clark should be called a foul. Brown nosing blowholes like Jason Whitlock suggest so called jealous players could com- conspire to cheat and boost Reese's chance of winning the award. University of South Carolina coach Dan- Dawn Staley says Reese doesn't need any help. If I had to pick a rookie of the year at this time today, it's Angel. Dawn Staley told TMZ last weekend without a doubt because of what she's been able to do with the double doubles. At the time, Reese has tallied double doubles in points and rebounds in 15 consecutive games, a league record. The streak ended, but Reese started a fresh one with 13 points and 10 rebounds against the defending champs in Las Vegas. Her tendency to dominate the boards at LSU has remained intact as she leads the league in rebounding 12 per game. The Chi-Town Barbie relocated from the bayou but still does grimming work down low not often grunting and banging against bigger and stronger post players but she's a dog we can't be taught or quantified and there's no quit in her in glaring contrast to her off-court style reese plays in a in glamorous fashion sometimes missing point blank shots to grab the rebound and put backs admirers call it tenacity but critics call it stat padding that might want to Look up NBA legend Moses Malone, dubbed chairman of the boards, who was a masterful at rebounding his own misses, uses the backboard to create your next shot. Could be poor marksmanship or timing mechanism, both acceptable explanations. It's true that Reese has chased stats to secure double-doubles with seconds left in games that already decide it happened. In Chicago's last possession against the New York Liberty, who led by 14 with 19 seconds left, um, trailing teams typically um, dribble out the clock in that situation. But Reese frantically called for the ball, needing a bucket to reach 10 points. The Liberty swarmed her with four players, clearly uninterested in letting the streak continue. If the four players swarmed Clark to keep her from personal milestones, they'd be called petty. Now you heard that. They would be called petty. Winning is the most important to me, Reese said. I think I've done a great job at that, being able to consistently have I've broken the record already, so I want to be able to just be me and do whatever my teammates need. She doesn't have the logo three-pointers and the pinpoint dimes that Clark feels the highlight reel, but such life trenches putting in work looks different down there where players get in and out the mud, and no one does it like Angel Reese in breaking double-double records set by Chicago native Candace Parker. The only player to win rookie of the year and MVP in the same season in 2008. Parker is Reese's favorite. She set the mark 29 year old in her eighth season. Reese smashed it as a 22 year old rookie facing toward and race it hate and vitriol largely from Clark fans. Their intensity and abusing Reese is remarkable, unnecessary, especially since Clark is flat out balling, leading the league in assists, becoming the first ever rookie with the triple double. The W is entering a month-long Olympic break, but Reese and Clark are about to be teammates for a change. You see that they they teammated in the um, All-Star game when they beat the USA women's national team. Now, the thing about it is Clark's fans will be racist toward Angel Reese in her merit of getting these double-doubles, as such as the media you know, calling it stat padding. And it's been racist remarks, talk about how Reese is a thug and she's come from, you know, this poverty and things like that. And just talking about Angel Reese outside of basketball. So I'm not going to be mad if Reese hoists the trophy because she's worthy contender and I'm not proud, but I'm watching her haters go berserk every time Angel Reese does something. Now, that was an article from Darren Snyder. And I have to appreciate Darren Snyder for, you know, coming up, producing that article, you know, exposing all these Caitlin Clark fans because what they do is they show this racist vitriol toward Angel Reese as she was on her double-double streak. Now, we've seen plenty of videos and plenty of YouTube channels that, 
cater to Caitlin Clark that produced videos and hate about Angel Reese when she was on the double double streak just to try to belittle her to big up Caitlin Clark to boost her in the rookie of the year race when they thought that Caitlin Clark was an outright runner and the front runner and the leader for rookie of the year but Angel Reese comes out of nowhere and makes it interesting and now you have all this hate and racist stuff toward Angel Reese and that's what I can't stand is these fans they take verbal jabs and take pop shots at Angel Reese for going out there doing what she's supposed to do on the basketball court because we know what she's capable of doing we saw that in college she's a rebounding she's a rebounding fanatic she has a, she has a high motor and that's not going to stop but for these Caitlin Clark fans to be out there you know calling her these racist names and stuff like that it's silly that stuff has to stop just because Angel Reese is balling like that these Caitlin Clark fans go to these major lengths to try to belittle her as a human being and it has nothing to do with basketball and I'm glad that this writer has exposed all these Caitlin Clark fans in a major way so I appreciate Tyrone Hatley or Hartley for sending me this article for me to touch on it because I was wrapping up for the day and I found it very interesting that I had to come on behind the mic and had to speak about this because this is something that nobody has really addressed. And I'm probably the first one that has addressed it and put it out on the show. So what I'm trying to say here is these Caitlin Clark fans, they're egregious. I have nothing against Caitlin Clark. She's a hell of a baller. But these fans make you dislike Caitlin Clark. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. Catch you on the next one. Deuces. And remember, on your way out the door, when you put your shoes on, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms. That's all, folks.